Hi guys, it's Rachel and today I'm filming a vlog and the vlog is going to be filmed in my dressing gown because I feel that pretty much everyone who has a vlog channel has at least one video that they filmed in a dressing gown and I wanted to join that club. So this is me filming a vlog in my dressing gown and I figure since I'm filming this vlog and the point of it is that fact that I'm in a dressing gown. I should tell you what my dressing gown looks like or show you. So basically it's like purple with these aqua kind of bubbles and then yellow duckies on it which you kind of can't see. Oh there we are, there's one. It's an upside down duck. I promise you some of them are the right way round. Maybe there's one somewhere else. Oh yeah, that's kind of, nope, you can't really see that's a duck. Where's the duck? Look, there's another upside down one. I promise you anyway, there are yellow duckies on this. And I've had the same dressing gown since I was, I don't know, I'm feeling like it was probably like late primary school, early high school, so this is a good like 10 years old, so yay for sort of old dressing gowns. And this is held up pretty well, I must think. I'm pretty sure it was from Kmart maybe or Big W, something like that. Either way, I feel like it's lasted quite well and it has been washed, I promise you, I'm not wearing a dressing gown that hasn't been washed in 10 years. My mum would have a fit if that happened, so it's a washed dressing gown. Um, but anyway, now I've totally forgotten the point of this video because I got so distracted by my dressing gown and the fact that I get to film a vlog in my dressing gown. I'm just looking at my camera and I realise I have exactly 11 minutes left of space on this video, so, of this, on this video, on this camera, so I'm going to promise to keep this short and sweet. Just going to give you, I guess, a little update on my life at the moment. Now I don't even know what I'm going to say. Last night I went and saw Friends with Benefits with my mum. Let me tell you, thumbs up from that for that movie. It was hilarious. It was really good. It wasn't like no strings attached. I wasn't sitting there thinking, oh my god, this is like the same movie. Why did I bother watching this? Rah, rah, rah. No, it wasn't. So if you like no strings attached and you feel like you won't like Friends with Benefits because you feel like it's the same premise, different movie. Um, I didn't think about No Strings Attached once. I really liked it. It was um, fun and upbeat and I laughed out loud. It's definitely, um, it's rated MA 15 plus in Australia so it is definitely higher. Um, it's not for little kids. Don't take your little brother or sister to see it. It's probably not a good idea. Oh, and my mum and my sister and even that is sometimes awkward. Do you guys have that awkward moment where you're watching kind of movies and there's various scenes in those movies and you think, why am I sitting here watching this with my parents? Um, I don't think you ever lose that either. It doesn't matter how old you are. It's still weird to watch love scenes um, with your parents sitting right next to you. I don't mind so much my mum. It's weirder with my dad. Um, yeah, that's just not fun. It happens on TV sometimes as well and you think, yeah, we're all sitting in the lounge room watching this. This is not awkward at all. I think we all just kind of ignore it. Let me know what you guys do in your family. I think in our family, we just kind of pretend that it's not happening. I remember when I was really young, I um, never liked watching people kiss and I don't know why and I have no idea because it wasn't like I had any sort of logical reason to not. I have like, a, my parents are still together, they were always affectionate with us, it wasn't like I had some sort of reason to not like it but I remember not liking it, I could never watch it on TV and then when I was really young, um, my, one of my cousins asked me to be flower girl at her wedding and I think I said no, and the reason that I said no was because I didn't want to watch them kiss. <laughs> and I have no idea. I now I don't know. That that's kind of the story that I kind of built up in my head. It may have been that I was kind of scared of like the guy that she was marrying. Not that I really was. Like I just I don't know. You get these weird things. Young minds are just so random. You have no idea. There's no logic to them. Well, like there is. Like I'm sure I had a logic, but it's just one of those logic that you can only understand when you're a child. That's why I like that um, movie Baby Geniuses because I think it's totally real and totally possible that little babies can talk to each other and communicate and we just can't understand them. Because to me that makes perfect sense because they, I'm sure they have their own little language and their own little logic and their own little reasonings, reasoning, reasoning, reasons for things. But anyway, totally off track. I don't even know how I started this. Oh, Friends with Benefits. In the end, Friends with Benefits is a really good movie and if you get a chance to see it, um, definitely go. I also really liked it because it had a good soundtrack. I love movies that have good um, soundtracks. I find that a lot of the songs that end up being my favourites, a lot of these random fav favourite songs that I find are from movies because 
on TV shows as well, I always have my phone sitting on my lap. And if a song starts to play in a movie that I like, even if it's only for a few seconds, I like get my Shazam app and start like, I don't know, I feel like Shazam, Shazam, Shazam. I feel like Shazam was one of the best inventions that came along with the iPhone and iPad because it's just, it's amazing. I love it. I used to be in movies and when I didn't have that, I used to like kind of write down or memorize like a line of the lyrics and then I'd come home and type them into Google and find the song and then download it because... I don't know, I feel like if you can listen to a song for a few seconds and automatically think you like it, then it's bound to be one of your sort of favourite songs and that happens to me so much. But I really liked the soundtrack in Friends With Benefits and there's this song, there's a few songs in it, actually there's one of the songs actually even in the ad and it's, um, it literally plays for about three seconds in the ad that's showing anyway on TV in Australia and I heard it and automatically <laughs> thought I'd like it so I, um, did a little bit of Google searching and found it and it's called Love in America by JTX. I'll link the video in the bottom bar below but I really like that song, it's really fun and then one of the songs from the movie that I really liked was um, Pumped Up Kicks by Foster the People and I'll link that song in the bottom bar below if I can find it. I really like the song but when I got home and listened to the lyrics they are really really odd. They're kind of about like guns and a guy shooting people. I, I don't know, it's kind of random but I really like the song anyway. I find it so it happens every now and then. There are songs that you just think, I really like this song but these lyrics are really really questionable but I'm gonna listen to it anyway. I remember thinking that about the song Porn Star by Amy Meredith. Again, really good song. I'll list it, link it in the bottom bar. I'm gonna have to remember to link all these songs but definitely they're all worth checking out. Um, but yeah, listening to the lyrics, you think, what the hell? How did this person make up a song about this? But they do, and they're catchy, and I listen to them anyway, so shh, it'll be our little secret. Um, I swear I just keep on getting so off topic. This was supposed to be about what's going on in my life, and somehow I ended up talking about songs in movies and Shazam apps. Um, I should have explained, if you don't have an iPhone or you don't have an iPad, Shazam is like an app that you um, hold it near music and it records a percentage of the song it records something for like I think it's like 30 seconds or 60 seconds, something like that and then it sends it off into some little database and it comes back and tells you the name of the song and who sung it which for me is amazing because it definitely cuts down on my googling song lyrics time but I really really do like it and supposedly when you buy the paid Shazam app which I didn't I used the free one and then my sister went and bought the paid one and because we use the same computer to have our phones and stuff linked to. We don't use the same computer generally. For some reason in our house we have like five computers. It's ridiculous. It's all my fault because I have a thing for technology. Um, anyway, off track again. Because we have the same iTunes system set up when she downloaded it, then I got it on my phone as well. And supposedly with this paid one you're supposed to be able to even just sing the lyrics and it'll tell you, I haven't tried that. I feel like it won't work because when I sing it sounds nothing like the real thing. So if it can do that, then it's pretty much the most amazing thing ever. Um, yeah. So now I'm totally off topic. What was I actually going to talk to you guys about? Maybe I should have planned this video a bit better. Oh look, I have been talking. I have literally three minutes left on this video. What can I talk about for three minutes? Um... Maybe I should talk about a book. Hold on one second. And I'm back. See, that was so super graceful. This is why I feel like this actually works out perfectly because books and dressing gowns go well together. Just like heaters and fire and bedtime and all these other things that just, they just go. And they're my favourite things. And since we're talking about a movie that I like and is definitely one of my favourites now and songs that I like, we should talk about a book that I like. So I just finished reading this book. I actually didn't just finish reading it. It was probably like half a week ago now. I've read like three books since then. But um, I know I'm a weirdo. Yes, I finished this book. It's called Star Crossed by Josephine Angelini. And I really, really, really liked it. And I think that if you like books that have that are based in reality but have like a supernatural kind of twist you'll like this one especially if you like sort of the Greek mythology kind of stuff um, I have 
always liked that. I think if I ever sort of studied history, I think like the Greek mythology kind of aspect, that sort of ancient times is really interesting and the idea of the gods and the demigods and, and things like that. And this is kind of what this is based on. And I won't give too much away because I feel like if you want to go out and read it, you can. And one day I'm going to do, which I keep on promising but keep on forgetting to do um, book videos on this channel. I am going to do one about this and that one will probably have spoilers but I'll give you a pre-warning for it but I think that this is a really good book and I can't wait for the next one and I just love it when you find stories and music and movies that you just think wow it just leaves you with like a really good feeling and I don't know you just come out happier from having listened to that or having watching it or having read it and that was one of those books for me so Thumbs up for Starcrossed. It's a really, really good book. I can't wait for the next one, which I think doesn't come out until next year, which is always a bummer because um, that always seems to be the way that when you find a really good book that you like, you don't get the next one until next year. And by then I've probably forgotten half the story, but really good story. And now that I've just rambled for a good like nine, ten minutes, I'm going to go. So I hope you guys are all having a really good week and I will talk to you again in a new vlog very, very soon. Hopefully that topic will be a lot more important than this one. But I hope you guys have enjoyed my uh, dressing gown vlog and I'll talk to you all very, very soon. <laughs> Bye. I just realised that the other thing that goes with like books and dressing gowns and fires and heaters and warm and things that you're a favourite is chocolate. So I'm gonna eat some chocolate now. Thanks for the thanks for um reminding me guys, I appreciate it.